Hey up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or even evening wherever you may be in the world. I hope it's going smashing for you. So the topic of today's video is going to be about the top five who I think are the best teams to have never won the premiership with the squads that they had. So I'm going to be going one through the five and I'm going to be talking about who I think had the best squads, not just for one year, but two, three, four year. They got close to winning that premiership or close to making that grand final and they just fell short. They fell at the final level. So before I start today's video, if you like the content, if you like the videos, please like, share and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you make sure that you're getting an email when I release a new video. And also head over to my Facebook page, Rugby League History. I've got a link in the description below, just click on that and have a look at some of the photos i got, some good nostalgia there. So without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So at number five, I've picked St George. So in the 1990s, St George made the grand final four times, 1992, 1993, 1996 and 1999. And on all four occasions, they fell short at the final ladle. Now they had a good squad. Back in those days, not like what they do now. Um, in 92 93, they were defeated by Brisbane. Um, there's no shame in that you could see because Brisbane had a, a smashing team back then. 1996, they come up against a very strong manly team. And in 1999, they were leading 14 0 at half time against Melbourne and lost the grand final there. Um, I think that they had good coaches, good players. They'd get to that grand final. They'd they'd meet the finals nearly every year, and they just they just lacked some it. They just um, they just never managed to win that elusive premiership in the nineteen ninety. So then we picked for number five, number four, Western Suburbs. Now for this one, I'm going to go for a trip down memory lane. Uh, the particular Western Suburbs teams I'm talking about are the ones between nineteen fifty eight and nineteen sixty three. Uh, when they come up against that champion St George team that won 11 in a row. Uh, Western Suburbs lost four grand finals to St George in that time period between 1958 and 1963. They actually lost three in a row between 1961 and 1963. Uh, once again, they had a very good team. In 1961, they won the minor premiership. It was the only time in that 11 year that St George won the premiership that the Failed to win the minor premiership that year. Western Suburbs beat them to the minor premiership. But on grand final day, they lost 22-0. And the, the other two seasons after that, similar type of results. They, they'd get close, but they just couldn't win that premiership. And then after that, that was uh, 1963 was Western Suburbs' final ever grand final appearance. Um, they had a, a good team in the 1970s uh, towards the back end, but then choosing the goal for the, that time period between 1958 and 1963 is uh, one of the one of the best squads to not win the premiership uh, number three my club Parramatta I'm gonna go for the time period between 1997 and 2001 so in 1997 we uh, finished third I believe Qualified for the finals for the first time since 1986 when we won the Premiership. And we um, we come up against Newcastle. Uh, going in the half-time, I think we were up 20-0 and lost the match 28-22. The following week, we were eliminated by North Sydney with a similar type of um, result where we were up at half-time in, in command control and ended up losing that game. 1998, we all know what happened there. Uh, they beat North Sydney and Brisbane, uh, come up against Canterbury, the choke of all chokes, lost that. 1999, come second, uh, made the preliminary final, lost 18-16 uh, to Melbourne, despite being up 16-0 at half time. 2000, we made the preliminary final again when we were the BB Eels, lost that, and then 2001, made the grand final and uh, it was one of the biggest grand final boil overs of all time probably you probably won't see a grand final boil over like that 
anytime soon or maybe never again. Um, Parramatta had a big chance to win a premiership with with those squads they had between that that time period and they just couldn't get over the line. They fell short, um, choked many times. So that's we picked for number three. Number two, North Sydney between 1991 and 1998. Now, uh, North Sydney have only ever won the two premierships, 1921-1922. Uh, 1991 was one of their best ever years. They ended up making the preliminary final and they lost that. 1994 made the preliminary final again, lost again. 95 finals, 96 preliminary final against St George, lost that. 1997 lost the preliminary final against Newcastle. If Jason Taylor would have kicked straight, North Sydney's in the grand final against Manly, but it just wasn't a B. And then the 1998 finals again, eliminated in consecutive weeks, despite finishing in just outside the top four. Um, I think for all you North Sydney fans out there, and for me, being a, a North Sydney sympathiser slash fan, um, for them not to have won at least one premiership with that squad or squads that they had in that time period, I don't know how they didn't manage to win one. Uh, it's just very disappointing when you look back at some of the players that they had. They, they just couldn't win a premiership. and It's it's such a shame for those uh, loyal clubmen like Greg Florimore and Billy Moore and um, Mark Sword and Gary Larson that they didn't go out premiership winners and it's, it's just a shame, isn't it? And we pick for the the first, the, the team that I think had the, the best squads and failed to win the premiership is Belmean, the Belmean Tigers. Uh, I'm just going to get up the thingy now. So between 1985 and 1990, they made the finals every year. 1985, they come second. Failed to reach the grand final. 86 preliminary final. 87th, they come fourth. Didn't meet the grand final. 88, runners up against Canterbury. 989, as we all know, one of the greatest grand finals of all time. Up 12-2 against Canberra, lost that game. And then in 1990, they made the finals. Uh, eliminated in the first week. So when you look at the players that they had, Wayne Pierce, Gary Freeman, Steve Roach, Paul Sirenen, Tim Brasher, Gary Jack, the, the list just keeps going on and on. For them to not win a premiership with the the squad that they had is is I think disappointing and a big failure. And if for any of you Bell Mean fans out there that may watch this video, I sympathise with you. Um I got a big soft spot for Belmain. I think they should have at least won one premiership in that time period. Um, that 1989 grand final, I think, the club never ever recovered from that. Um, as you could see, between 1989 and 1999, they only made the finals on that one occasion. So, with the, also with all the players leaving the club and Warren Ryan leaving the club as the coach, that premiership window just extinguished so that's me pick for the top five best teams or best squads not to win a premiership now i've got some honorable mentions the first one i'm going to mention is the newtown sides of 1954 and 1955 they were the best team throughout the regular season on both occasions won the minor premiership and on both occasions lost the grand final to south sydney and it wasn't 26 year down the line that they managed to recover and they made that grand final against Parramatta. Along with some of the well-known players like Brian Clee went to St George after they failed to win the Premiership. So um, I think in both of those years they were the best team. If you look at the stats, they were the best team. But on grand final day, they lost the grand final. And also, I think I'd like to throw in Glebe as well. Um, now, if you go if you go on a on a website called Rugby League Project, I, I recommend everyone goes on there because you learn so much about the past. 
please stats everything and uh, with Glebe they finished up run, they finished runners up they, so that means that they come second five times in ten years so between 1911 and 1922 they come fifth uh, they, they come second sorry five times uh, two of those were grand finals and the other three occasions was first past the post because back then they didn't have mandatory grand finals so I imagine if if you were alive back then <laughs> um, unfortunately there's probably no Glee fans alive today although the club does play in the Ron Massey Cup um, I'm talking about people that would have lived back then it would have been painful to watch your, your club uh, in, in those 10 years um, come in second five times that would hurt so anyway that's me picks for the teams with the best squads not to win a premiership hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe share the video that would be much appreciated click that notification bell follow me on rugby league history i'll be making some new videos very soon i'm thinking about doing a, a tipping video tomorrow for round one i'm not really much of a tipster but i'll i'm thinking about it whether i should or not and uh, i'll catch us all later tara